everybody and welcome to Feel Better Eating. This is a whole food plant-based experience that has the intention of educating you about the health benefits of eating plants, inspiring you to try new recipes and having a lot of fun. That's what cooking is all about. I'll be flying solo today. My name is Joshua. It's good to see new faces in the audience. Welcome everybody here in Michigan City. I appreciate you being here and the people watching on YouTube. Today we have, as always, a certified banger of a recipe. It's going to be using a locally grown vegetable that grows in great abundance so much so that you can run out of ideas on how to use it but i'm going to show you a recipe how you can incorporate it to make a sweet treat and we're going to build on the running theme of this show that sweet tasty really nourishing treats don't have to be unhealthy or detrimental to your health if you choose the right ingredients they can be health foods and still taste great so today we're going to be making zucchini bread pancakes leveraging locally grown zucchinis. This one was grown right here at the Grace Learning Center, but this one was grown in our garden back in Niles. And if you've ever grown these, has anyone ever grown these in the audience? It's honestly amazing. They can grow with the right conditions in the Midwest, perfect conditions, and grow like two inches a day. And some days you won't have any, and then three days later you'll have like this. And we've had ones out of the garden this year, like this big. So if you let them grow too long, they'll just keep growing and growing and growing. So they're very abundant, but you can run out of ways to cook them and putting them into pancakes is a really good way. And it's very simple. So we're gonna get into it. We're first gonna mix the wet ingredients. I'm gonna start off with just a regular banana. This will help with the potassium in the meal. I'm gonna bang that in there. Put this, no, put that in there. And then we're gonna be using a plant-based milk as the wet here. Obviously, no, oh, closed. You can use all the different types of milk here. We're using almond because it's sweet, and these are going to be pancakes. But cashew milk is also nice in this. So we're going to put a couple of that in there. I'm going to give it a mash. Can you see this? Can you see this in the. Uh, yes, yeah. Good deal. So we're just going to mash this up. It's pretty simple. This, this recipe is very easy, it's very quick, and it's tasty. Give this a good mash. You could probably do this in a food processor as well if you wanted, but the fork is pretty good. And depending on how chunky you like your pancakes, you can leave the banana in thicker pieces there, if you like. But then we're gonna add into that this is the main event of this dish. In Europe, we call this a courgette. Have you ever heard that term? No. No, we call it a courgette. I think it's a French word. But here they call them zucchinis. And this is just two cups. This recipe is scaled, but I just grated this super easy. And I left the skin on because I grew it in our garden. So I know that it doesn't have any pesticides, insecticides, any of that nonsense. It's just as it's intended to be. And I think the skin adds a nice flavor, extra flavor to it. So just grate two of those in, bang that in there. For sweetness, we're gonna be adding maple syrup. We're gonna go for two tablespoons. This is a very uh, easy to understand sugar, and it's obviously real tasty. And again, grows locally. Bang that in there. Wow, lovely that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then we're going to be adding some coconut oil. This is going to help with the cooking process. It's going to stop it from sticking so much, but it's also a superfood. We use coconut in a lot of these recipes because it's good for many bodily functions. And it also helps with the satiation. So sometimes when you... Oh, this is a bit stuck. Sometimes when you eat plant-based dishes, they don't always feel overly satiating because the ingredients burn so fast. But when you add fat, good fats in like this, they'll satiate you for longer. So I'm not doing very well with this, really. <laughs> Should have probably melted that beforehand because it might not mix in there. But we'll do our best. We'll do our best. And then we're going to be adding in chocolate. This is optional, but we obviously want chocolate in the pancakes. But again, it comes down to choosing the right chocolate. This one is... I'll show you the packet. It's what we use it on the show all the time, but it's the uh, Enjoy Life. It doesn't have any 
unknown ingredients in, just very easy to understand, cocoa butter, cane sugar, and then cacao. It comes in this suit and it's real tasty. And again, if you're using the right ingredients, uh, you can eat tasty and healthy. It all comes down to the sourcing. So we're gonna be mixing this in here. And what we're essentially going to be doing is just making like a regular pancake batter. That's what we're going for. Just going to be mixing this around here. Oof. I mean, you could probably just cook. You could probably just cook that as is, and you get something out of it. Maybe like a zucchini frittata or something. I don't know. But what we're going to do, obviously, instead, put these down here. We're going to be adding in. The dry ingredients which I prepared earlier but super simple in there there's just two cups of oat flour we're using oat flour because this then becomes a gluten free dish I struggle with the wheat and gluten in other flours but you can use those they're obviously still plant based in there there's baking powder to help these fluff up and rise and there's also salt to taste but salt also has a lot of benefits for us as long as it's the right salt so in this one we have just sea salt, fine. It's maybe not the best one you could ever get this one, but as long as you choose the right salt in the right amounts, it's very good for us. So we're gonna be adding this into here. And giving it a stir. And then if our ratios are correct and we've scaled this recipe, I've never made this many in one go, this will come out like a handy dandy pancake batter. Oh yeah, perfect. Obviously if it looks a little dry when you're finished, you can add more wet ingredients and vice versa if it looks a little bit too wet. This is looking pretty nominal. Has anybody ever had zucchinis in sweet dishes? You ever had zucchini cake? Zucchini bread? Yeah. Zucchini bread. This is essentially, if you put this in a bread tin and baked it, it would be zucchini bread. It's almost identical, it's just that we're going to do it in the pancake form because I like pancakes. There we go. Lovely job. Easy peasy. I would have, if I could go back in time, I would have melted the coconut oil because you probably can't see it, but there are little chunks of it. And I think the recipe does say to melt it, but it is what it is. And then we're going to be using this handy dandy little heater thing. <laughs> Come on. Pause time pop pop. There we go. And gonna, this thing cooks really fast, so I'm gonna put it at 390. In fact I'll try probably start at 350. This gets hot very fast. Uh, but obviously if you're using your own pans you'll know how they work and then we're gonna cook them just like uh, just like regular pancakes I'm gonna start off with a little bit of coconut oil this will help stop them sticking and make it just a little bit easier because nobody enjoys stuffed pancakes so I'm just gonna move this around here It gets hot real fast, this thing. And then we're going to take this scoop. I'm just going to portion out probably half a cup of pancake. And then we're just going to bang that in there. I'm just going to cook a couple and then we'll cook them after for you guys to enjoy. I'm going to flatten this down a little bit. Depending on how thick you like them. You can leave them thick. I'm just gonna do, <laughs> that's a big old pancake, that. Oh well. I'm gonna cook these just again like regular pancakes to where they're, it's to your own preference. I like mine like probably on the browner side and then the chocolate will melt more readily as well. But if the consistency is good, which it looks good, we're gonna get, gonna get air bubbles coming up. 
going to puff up that baking soda is going to go and we're going to have a real nice looking pancake you can see the green here from the I keep saying courgette from the zucchini real nice I don't know if you can can you see these little air bubbles popping out probably you can yeah great so I'm just going to let that go for a couple of minutes per side and then as for toppings uh, you can obviously choose really Uh, as for toppings, you can choose whatever you want. I just like usually maple syrup with extra banana, but we've got extra chocolate here. If you want to put that on too, it's really, really up to you. Yeah, I'm going to give this a flip. Try this one. <laughs> this pan is not the easiest shape to deal with. Mm. Chocolate's melting. I'll give that another couple of minutes. Okay. Give it a couple of minutes. It's super easy, right? Well, we've been doing this 10 minutes. It took me 10 minutes to prepare. So when it comes to making pancakes at home, obviously, depending on the ingredients you use, they can be you eat them and then you have to go to sleep for like three hours or you eat these and be like, woo! It's all about the ingredients. Let me see if we can give this a flip. Oh! I'm getting there. It's going to come out a random shape, I think. Mmm. Might be a little bit overdone. No. Um, it looks as if this might stick as well because it didn't re-coconut oil the side, but we'll see how we get on. If we need to cook another one for the camera, we will. But it will taste good, I can guarantee that. And we'll try this one as well because I only put two tablespoons of maple syrup in and it may be more beneficial to add more in. Cool. So it goes a long way, this, that was just one zucchini in there, and this is probably gonna make six or seven of these. I think that goes a pretty long way. Does anybody have any questions? What do you say about the thickness of the batter for you add if it's not good enough? Yeah, I don't, I think it's just personal choice. Obviously the thinner you go, the faster it will cook. The thicker I like it thicker because I like it creamy in the middle but I think it's personal choice this is just yeah it's not it's not sticking too bad I just forgot to put the uh, I'll move it over here there we go I just forgot to put the reapply the I've never cooked on this pan either for pancakes I usually use the cast iron and the cast iron just doesn't stick you don't really you put oil on it what once and it's pretty much done whereas this is as you can see, it's kind of doing its own thing, but looking pretty good. Chocolate's melting. And Kate labeled these bread pancakes because, as I said, this is the same batter that you'd use for... Whew, I'm not sure about that. It'd be the same. You could bake that in the oven and it would just turn into a bread. Uh, as you can see, the oil is now smoking. <laughs> it's why we don't do too much frying outside of cast irons, because it always seems to burn. But this should be done. We'll flip that, yeah, we can. And just like that. Boom, boom, boom. So what I'm going to do for this one, I'm just going to move this out of the way so Kevin can see. I'm going to move this over here. Sorry about the smoke. Thing. I'm just going to get a little chopping board here. Let me get this. Not sure. I'm just going to do a little bananas on the top, just thinly sliced. Just do this. 
so you get fancy. Boom. A few little ones of these on there. Syrup on the top. Oof. Look at that. Come on. And there you have it. And what was that? 15 minutes? Job done. That's a zucchini bread pancake topped with bananas. Can you see that, Kevin? Yeah. So, as I said, if you choose the right ingredients and the right methodology, tasty. Healthy snacks like this don't have to be, well they wouldn't be healthy if they were unhealthy, but pancakes, for example, don't have to be a food that is detrimental to your health. If you just choose wholesome ingredients like what we've got here, and you can grow these at home or at wherever, super great. I'm excited for you to try this. We're gonna have everybody come up, we'll cook pancakes and do different toppings. I appreciate you all being here. This recipe will be available on our website as always, and I encourage you to go try it. Real easy, a lot of fun, got loads of people coming. It's a good recipe to do. And if you are growing zucchinis, you will realize very fast, I've got so many of these I don't know what to do with, and this is a great way to use them up. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Joshua, this has been Feel Better Eating, and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Much love, peace. Cool, who wants this one? Thank you to all of our show sponsors and supporters who make this show possible. The Healthcare Foundation of Laporte, Grace Learning Center, Citizens Concerned for the Homeless and ALCO, Access Laporte County. We appreciate all of your support.